Hey everyone, it's Ozzy John over here from JHB Enterprises with a tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Tower Cube 2x2x4. The Tower Cube can be solved in three distinct steps. First, we resolve the puzzle to its cuboid form by completing the bottom two layers and then orienting the top two layers. It doesn't matter how scrambled our cuboid is at this stage because it will solve the bottom two layers in step two and then permute the top two layers simultaneously to finish with. In step 1a, we will need to use basic corner slotting techniques to insert each 2x1 pairing. This puzzle acts like an extended 2x2 pocket cube at this stage, so visualise each 2x1 pairing as a single cube of yourselves. In step 1b, we will need to orient the uppermost layers by using last layer orientation algorithms that every Rubik's Cuber knows. Use the ones that you're comfortable with. In this tutorial, we will be using common 2-look OLL algorithms. Here then is what each orientation case looks like on the tower cube. Soon. And he's soon. Car. Blinker. Headlights. Chameleon. And bow tie. Once you've returned the puzzle to its cuboid form, you shouldn't find it too hard to pair up magic cubies and insert them into your bottom layer. However, an easy insertion trick is required with the final pairing. It's an algorithm that solves of cubic 3x3x5s know about, and it can be used to both set up and insert these two paired cubies. Simply place them above the slot where they belong and do this algorithm R2, U, R2, U prime. R2. The only other algorithm needed to complete the tower cube is the A permutation, which becomes an adjacent corner swap with the 2x2x2, the 2x2x4, and probably several other puzzles. On this cuboid, the A permutation will swap the two front corners of both layers. Those layers that we don't want to swap will need to be moved to either side. Here, the top layer is already solved, but we're going to unsolve it. This has left us now with two lots of paired cubies which we can move to the back and solve. This is exactly the same sort of situation, but the bottom three layers have been solved and the very top one needs to be permuted. Once again, the A permutation will swap two adjacent cubies in the solved layer and will move the two swapped pieces on the very top layer to the sides so that we will be left with the same case to be solved on both of these layers. And in this case, all of our hard work has already been done. We can simply move our paired colours into the back of the cuboid and simultaneously permute them. I hope this tutorial has been of some assistance. Enjoy your cubing, boys and girls. I'm Ozzy Jono and thank you for watching.